Hey, it's Whiskey Review Time, and on the bar for you today, I will be reviewing Pike Creek 10-year-old rum barrel finish Canadian whiskey. As always here on the channel, I will give you a nose taste finish review of this spirit. I'll chat a little bit about the value, I'll give you my final thoughts on the final score, and leave you with the malt musing. So, what is up with Pike Creek? Uh, Pike Creek is a brand that comes out of the Hiram Walker Distillery in Windsor, Ontario, Canada and is aged in um, warehouses in Pike Creek, Canada, just down the street. So this whiskey is bottled at 42% ABV. And here's what it has to say. Uh, Pike Creek is aged in oak casks in a non-climate controlled warehouse, exposing it to Canada's severe temperature swings. This creates an incredibly smooth yet complex whiskey, which is then finished in rum barrels to bring out notes of molasses and vanilla. Um, what else do they got to say on here? Not a whole bunch else. That is nothing, uh, nothing on here about chill filtration or natural colors. So we can assume this has probably been filtered a bit and some color has been added. Here is one look at the bottle. It's a pretty nice presentation. Um, all of the Pike Creek bottles do look similar to this. So, um, it doesn't tell us what type of rum this is aged in or how long um, this rum finish uh, occurred for, but let's get it in the glass and see what the whiskey's all about. All right. There we go. This is what we are looking at. Kind of deep mahogany red. Okay, let's get into this. Right away on the nose. If you have ever had rum in your life, you will notice the rum notes right away. It's a kind of a light molasses, sweet, very sweet, bit of a tr tropical fruit note, and then some dark fruit as well. I'm thinking like plum. A little bit of a cocoa note and a little bit of a, some type of herbal spice. Uh, my assumption is that there's definitely some rye in this. Bit of vanilla as well. A lot happening here. As I said, we don't know that this is, how long this was aged in ex-rum for the finish, uh, but the spirit is ex-bourbon, so it's not surprising that we're getting some of this vanilla, brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon and then this heavy blanket of, of tropical, dark, sweet rum notes. Hmm. Smells good. Give it a taste, cheers. Very rich, oily, sweet. Immediately you're getting a heavy honey vanilla right away on the arrival, but then it, it continues to develop. A whole bunch of things are going on here. A little bit of that rye spice is there, but mostly it is, God, brown sugar, dark fruit, a bit of a, I don't know, coconut, um, you know, almost a little bit of a pineapple note, but it's, that one's really subtle. Vanilla, wow, really, really sweet and creamy. As it heads into the finish, you start getting a little bit of a, a tannic dryness, which is coming off that oak barrel. It's about a medium finish, not incredibly long, but you're left with a little bit of that, again, kind of a citrus, tropical fruit, but I, I don't wanna, it's not bright, you know, heavy citrus tropical fruit. It's, it's kind of like it's mixed in with this kind of dark, dark cocoa, dark sugar, brown sugar, molasses thing going. Um, very, very good. Mm. Okay, uh, this is 42% ABV. So we're gonna be very, very light on the water here, but let's see what else comes out of this. Spice notes kick up. Getting more of that rye spice. It's 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 sweet. It's a little bit gingery. 
But again, the dominant note here is definitely this sugary sweetness. This is a very, very sweet whiskey. A little bit of caramel, vanilla, brown sugar. It's all kind of still there. Also just getting a little bit more citrus now with the water. So there's like a, again, a little bit of a pineapple lime thing going on. Okay, let's give it another taste here. Okay. It's tamed down a bit on the sweetness, which is what I was kind of hoping for here. Um, the water, it does bring out a bit more of the spice. You get a little bit more of that oak influence. So it's a little bit more drying, but cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, allspice. Again, caramel, light caramel, light brown sugar. Still pretty creamy, not quite as drying anymore on the finish. You're left with a, a nice, pleasant, kind of dark chocolate, little bit of coconut. It's almost like that German chocolate cake where you're getting the kind of coconut chocolate mix here. Um, almost like a slight coffee note too. Sometimes it's hard to distinguish with the chocolate and the coffee. It's definitely more on the sweet chocolatey side. Mm. Okay. Here's one more look at the bottle. You can find a bottle of this Pike Creek 10 year old rum barrel finish around the United States at a really, really great price. This is something you can find right in that $30 range, um, which I think is a good value for an age statement whiskey um, with kind of a unique finish going on here. So my final thoughts, this is, a rum drinker's whiskey for sure. Uh, for folks who are really into rum and wanna kind of move towards whiskey, you are getting more of the like bourbon notes with this. It's not completely just um, heavy, sweet, dark fruit notes all the way through. Um, while the sweetness of that rum is still really there and the fruit notes are, you are getting a bit more of those kind of traditional bourbon notes. So it, it's really harmoniously done. Um, this is a really good whiskey. I would caution, for bourbon drinkers or for folks who are trying to expand out, this is definitely a bit on the unique side. Um, if you've never had a rum finished whiskey before, be prepared for um, heavy rum notes on the nose, a little bit more of kind of a cloying sweetness than you're used to potentially on most bourbons. Um, but, you know, I think at the price, this is one worth, it, worth a pickup and giving a try to. So my final score here on the Pike Creek 10 year old Canadian whiskey uh, finished in rum barrels is going to be a solid 3.5 out of 5, which is that I recommend trying this or buying a bottle at a good price. So keep your eyes peeled for this next time you're out shopping if you're looking for something different or if you're getting into those spring summer months and uh, want to potentially try some innovative cocktails that involve a kind of a rum whiskey drink or just want to have something different to sip neat that kind of brings in the season. This one is a good one to pick up. All right, y'all. And I will catch you next time. Here is your malt musing. Cheers.